When you're planning to go out in the mountains, how do you do weather forecasting? Is it going to snow? Rain? Be sunny? Is it going to say... Hey Jay. Is it going to say, it was supposed to be completely clear with light clouds, and it's already snowed four inches, or uh, like six and a half, seven centimeters. I got a question from a viewer. Do you have any tips on weather forecasting? Have heard that the clouds or the cloud caps on the mountains are an indication of storm, winds, and more moisture. Yep, so here's a couple of basics for mountain forecasting. If you see what are called lenticular clouds, they literally look like UFO dome shapes over a summit. You don't want to be going on that summit because that is an indication of very strong winds. You'll see those on Grand Teton, Denali, uh, Rainier, all sorts of Mount Hood, um, all sorts of mountains. And if it's got those shaped lenticular clouds, you don't want to be on that summit because it is raging winds to create those sort of cloud conditions because of the moisture. Second thing, you're going to want to get a watch with a barometer and you want to follow that barometer. If you go to sleep and the barometer's at whatever it is and you wake up and the barometer's drop quite a bit, it's going to start precipitating and you're gonna have trouble. Another way to tell is fog. If you've been going along in whatever weather conditions you have and you have fog come in, not just valley fog, but real fog that socks in, that is usually the indication that a weather system is passing and whatever the weather is, it is now not going to be. So if it's nice and sunny and you get fog coming in, this is normal fog, not a special location. We get fog all the time, but a fog is a good indicator that the weather is going to change. Now that's not the fog that goes through the valley in the morning with the mist, but real, real fog. Also, if the moisture content in the atmosphere changes quite a bit, all of a sudden you're getting soaked where there's a lot of moisture, that is a big kicker. If you notice a dramatic change in temperature, all of a sudden it goes from calm and then the wind really starts howling. And it's not just the transitional wind, but the wind really picks up. That means that weather is coming because the wind pressure from the low pressure, high pressure system swirling around, you're in the transition zone. and that means you're going to get weather as well. Now, the forecast said for this, just clouds, no big deal, no snow whatsoever. <laughs> Wrong! There's snow, there's been a lot of snow, and it continues to snow, and it's gonna snow in my sleeping bag if I'm not careful. So hopefully those couple tidbits will get you the basics, but a watch that has a barometer that shows you the trend tracking. My pro trick here, let me see if I can show you here, the barometer. One moment, because this is useful. I don't like the Sunto watches because they're, for me, very complex to use. You can see that the trend in the barometer shows dropping in the inches of mercury. It's dropping quite a bit. So even though the forecast said it's supposed to be just fine, the forecast was wrong. And you can see those three dots, hopefully, in my little thing there. And it's 31.40 inches of mercury, but it's dropped quite a bit. That means weather's coming in and I need to be prepared for that. So having a little portable device like a watch with a triple sensor, altimeter, barometer, compass, let me tell you, I can get more for my watch than I can the National Weather System because I'm out here doing this. And yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's been helpful to give you a basic idea of weather forecasting in the winter when you're out camping and having a good time with your adventure, hiking, climbing, doing whatever. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition One, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show, Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Get more info like this so you can stay fun, stay safe, and stay warm.